be a PC build under $600 gaming PC, October 2014th edition. So, let's get on. This case is a Rosewell Redbone Black SECC Steel ATX Mid Tower. It's a very nice case. I love the LEDs. I love the red stripes. It's a really good case. It has four CD-ROM ports. It's pretty good. I don't have this case myself, but I would recommend it. I've seen it in person before. I've seen it in action. It's a really good case. It has two 120 millimeter fans in the front and the back to pull air in. And exhale out here. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good case. Um, the power supply I'm picking for today is a Corsair CX series, CX500, and it's a 500 watt power supply. It's a pretty solid power supply. This build only takes. Okay, yeah, it's just, just, just put, sorry for the interruption, a second, uh, three, two, one, sorry for the interruption, guys, uh, something happened, but this power supply is 500 watt, so that means it's very powerful, this, this build only takes up, I believe, 378 watts, so this gives a lot of room for mistakes, for overclocking, for, for some pretty good stuff, so yeah, 500 watt, pretty good made by Corsair, so it's reliable. The motherboard. Um, this is a Gigabyte GA970A UD3P AM3 Plus motherboard. It's very solid. It has a ton of USB ports and USB 3s ports. Um, it has four RAM slots, and that can hold 32 gigs of RAM, I believe. Um, it's pretty it's pretty simple motherboard, but it's very solid. I would recommend it. So, this is our CPU. It's an AMD FX6300 for sure, a 6 core at 3.5 gigahertz. It's a very solid CPU. It's, it, yeah, it's very solid. It's like a hundred bucks right now on Newegg, so you should probably pick that up as soon as possible. Um, I know this is very cheap, and for you Intel fans, Again, I'm again. I'm sorry for that interruption. <laughs> this pop-up keeps occurring. But as I was saying, for you Intel fans, um, yeah, this is an AMD. But AMD is extremely cheap and extremely powerful for the price because of Bitcoin mining. So just pick this up as soon as possible. It's a great CPU. It's a hundred bucks. You can overclock it. Has great possibilities. You need this CPU now. The graphics card is an MSI R9 270X Gaming 2 gig Radeon R9 270X model. It's a very solid graphics card. I believe it's around 170, 180 bucks. It's very good. Um, I would recommend it totally. It's an amazing card. Um, I'm gonna have one similar of this in my build, uh, my personal build. But it's a very solid card. It can run games at like 70. Like Battlefield 4, um, in the campaign, you can run it at 70 to 80 FPS, I believe. It's a pretty solid graphics card. I love it. And I would recommend it. <laughs> 10 out of 10. It's amazing. RAM is a G Skill Rip Jaws X Series, 8 gigabytes. There is two 4 gig sticks. It's 240 pin DDR3, SDRAM DDR3. It runs at 1600. So, this is very good. Um, it's very solid RAM, very fast. And the reason I picked f um, two 4 gig sticks instead of one 8 gig stick, the one 8 gig stick was cheaper, but two, it runs faster. So, because it runs from multiple sources. So, picture it this way. Um, Say you have a bottle of water, and you poke a hole on the bottom. There's only one hole, right? And then you take two, and then you poke two holes on the bottom instead of one hole. How much water comes out more? Of course, the two-hole one, because there's two holes. So that kind of how it works, the ram hole situation. So the two sticks, 
or four sticks is better than one stick. So yeah. A hard drive is pretty simple, Western Digital Blue. It one terabyte of storage, which is plenty to store your video games, your music, your videos, your media, it's your pictures. It's a pretty good um hard drive. It runs at 7200 RPMs, 64 megabytes cache, and it has a SATA connection, of course. It's a pretty amazing hard drive. I recommend it. It's pretty simple. It's not an SSD, a solid state drive, but it's a solid hard drive. It can it's pretty fast. Not as fast as an SSD, but it's hard. It's a hard drive. So this is how much it comes out to, $536.94. Currently, t today's date is October 1st, I believe. And the power consumption is 30, 374 watts. So, yeah, this is a very good build. Uh, the PC part list is in the in the description. If you like this video, please drop a like and drop a comment. Um, give me some suggestions to do. And, yeah, um, check out my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.